Okay. Could it be a dim picture and still work? No, not for me. Not for me. I can't see it. Ah, okay. So it's dim. So I've got to make sure I make a picture that's not dim. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Is it three D or flat? Three D. Could it be flat still work? Yes. Okay. And is it a movie or a still? Movie. Could it be a still and still work? Yeah. Okay. Great. And are the uh, the words in forward or backwards? Forwards. Could it be backwards and still work? Because that means you'd come back before you'd arrived. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so just want to make sure it's not dim, it's not it's not backwards. And if there, are there any sounds? These are these are, these are funky yeah, sounds. Oh, moving. <laughs> so are there any sounds that are important? No. No sounds. No sounds. So if Donald Duck was making a flight announcement, though. <laughs> that would be quite funny. Because <laughs> yeah. Yeah. he's got a job with EasyJet. Yeah, probably has. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, 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 got, you know, he's got the job of losing the bags. <laughs> it's the thing that he's got. Right. But could it be, so it's got to be not dim and not worse backwards with Donald Duck doing the, the announcement. That would work. That, okay. Cool. So that just loosens it up a little bit, you know, just, to, just to change the internal representations around a little bit. So now let's, let, now let's get rid of you. Are you ready to get rid of this photo? Yeah. yeah. So let's check with your unconscious mind. Ask your unconscious mind, is it totally okay with your unconscious mind? You have an undeniable conscious experience of this phobia disappearing today. Absolutely delighted with that. Your unconscious mind will be yeah, delighted with that. Okay, cool. Great. You know, you'll have to give it the value. That's fine, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, so let's get the first event out, okay? So I'm going to ask you a number of questions. Just go to the very, very first thing that pops into your mind. So as your unconscious mind, what's the first event, the root cause of this phobia? So if you were to disconnect it, it would cause this phobia to disappear from your life forever. If you were to know, was it before, during, or after your birth? First thing that pops into your mind. After. Great. And if you were to know, at what age were you first thing that pops into your mind? Twelve. Twelve. And that doesn't make any sense. No. no. That's what came up from your yeah. mind. Cool. Great. So let's just just remember those positions. Okay. Number one is after the event, above the event, okay. facing the path. Yeah. Uh -huh. Number two is directly above the event when you're twelve. And number three is before the event when you've turned around to towards now along your timeline. I'm going to guide you through all of this. Yeah. That's where the phobia will disappear. Okay. Yeah. Then we're going to take you into your twelve year old body at the time. Make sure it's totally gone. Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to be unconscious mind and do all of that, taking out the string and the string pills, all the way back to that. Okay. And it'll completely disappear. Okay? Yeah, sounds okay. good. Cool. So, just as you did before, find your timeline. And then float way up in the air. Remember, it's a nice and high movie timeline. And trusting your unconscious mind, just have your unconscious mind float you over the past to position number one in that very, very first event, which is above the event and after the event, and you're facing the past. So, the events below you and in front of you. As you're facing the past. I'm just letting you know when you get there. You there? Yeah, great. So then float to position number two, which is directly above the event, looking down the event. And ask your unconscious mind what was there for you to learn from that event, the learning of which will enable you to let go of the fear and let go of the phobia easily and effortlessly. And ask your unconscious mind to preserve those learnings in the place it preserves for all such learning. So if you need them in the future, they'll be there. Do you have the learnings? I think so, yeah. What are, what are the learnings? What learnings did you get from your unconscious mind? So I'll be okay. You'll be okay, yeah. great, fantastic. Is there anything else for you to learn before you let it all go? Well, I can see. Not that you said, that. that's, that's what I'm that's thinking about. You're okay, great. So now as your unconscious mind to to position number three, which is before the event and above the event. And turn around and face now along the timeline. Making sure that you get nice and high up, nice and far back. So the first event is in front of you and below you, as you're facing now. And you get really nice and high up, really nice and far back. Yeah. Then ask yourself, now where's the fear? Did it disappear? That's just very faint. It's very faint. Okay, great. So I mean, Means you haven't got high enough up and far enough back. So just ask your unconscious mind to get you really nice and high up, really nice and far back until all of that fear totally disappears. Right now. Now where's the fear? Did it disappear? I can't see it because I'm on a plane in my head. Okay, right. You're on a plane in your head. Yeah. 
So, Bob, can I look at the toys then? Just check. Well, let's, let's test it. Float down into your 12 year old body at the time, looking through your own eyes. Is all the fear gone? Yeah. Yeah? Test. Great. So now come back to position number three again. Yeah? Then ask your unconscious mind to bring you back, all the way back along your timeline, all the way back to now, only as quickly as it can assume position number three on each related subsequent event, preserving any further positive learnings and releasing the emotions all the way back to now. Preserving the learnings, releasing the emotions all the way back to now. Yeah, back again. Cool. We'll come back down into it. So how was that? With all the anxiety that was in my chest on my top here. Yeah. It's gone. Cool. So, any, so yeah, all the things I was thinking about flying, being in the aeroplane, oh god, <laughs> you know, just yeah. like, well, can yeah. you think of an event in the past, an event in the past which you thought about it previously, would have caused you to have that old fear, and notice how it's different now. Yeah, not even really thinking about it. Not even thinking about it? Not really. It's cool. Just... Well, let's test it again. So, can you think of an event in the future? An event in the future, which hasn't happened in the past, would have caused you to have that old fear and then say that's the fear I can, yeah. Then how is it different? It's nothing, it's just like it's normal. It's normal? It's normal. Yeah. So you're there, you're there at the uh, yeah. airport, it's waiting there. And the sign comes up. Yeah. Easy jet. Yeah. Hopefully the next one's British Airways. British Airways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll tell you the first thing story. So um, we're, I'm flying to British Airways to Cyprus. And um, you know, you're on the plane, and you know they do the safety thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this time, the pilot comes out, and he does the safety announcement, yeah. which is unusual. And he said, I'm doing the safety announcement because this is my last flight. He okay. said, I've, I've, I've decided to retire. As you may know, British Airways have sold the route to Cyprus to EasyJet. There's no way I'm flying a fucking orange plane. <laughs> <laughs> You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.